The function f has domain minus infinity minus half and is defined by f of x is equal to e to the power 2x plus 1 minus 3. Find an expression for the inverse of f and write down the domain of the inverse function of f. Okay, so here's the question then. Um, find the inverse, so part a then. First of all, y is equal to e to the 2x plus 1 minus the 3. Move the 3 over then is e to the 2x plus 1. Then write it in log form, so in a sense you move that down to be the base number. So that's a natural logarithm of y plus 3 is equal to, and once you've done that, the 2x plus 1 jumps down to ground level, so to speak. So that tells us then that 2x, reading from right to left, move the 1 over. And then finally we can now write x equals in terms of y, it's going to be a half, divide by 2 all the way through. So, we can now write the inverse function, f to the minus 1 of x. Swap the symbols around, so this now becomes an x, doesn't it? There we go. So that's the inverse function in part a. Write down the domain of f to the minus 1. So the domain of f to the minus 1 then is simply equal to the range of the function f isn't it? So what is the range of the function f basically? Well here's the function, it's defined on minus infinity to minus half. If we just draw e to the 2x plus 1 then uh, it's just the e function isn't it? <coughs> it goes up like that so that's that function but when we minus 3 it's like moving it down to this value minus 3 here isn't it and it goes up to and then the zero axis uh, goes above it so this is the value minus 3 then for this whole function here now it goes up to minus a half so it's here so that's the height so we're going from here to here when x is minus a half then this is the line minus 3 value and this is the x value minus half, so I'm going to put that in there just to be clear. So that's minus a half there. So when you put minus a half in here, you get e to the naught. Minus a half is minus one, plus one is naught, e to the naught is one, minus three is minus two. So effectively the range of f then goes from minus 3, but doesn't touch minus 3, up to, and we said when you put minus a half in here, you get e to the naught, which is 1, take 3, which is minus 2. But it doesn't touch minus 2 because it doesn't touch minus a half. So there's our range of f then. And so we can write, it's simply this interval between minus 3 and minus 2.